Hey everybody, Jason Shadrick here with Premier Guitar, and we are backstage at NAMM with yes. Albert Hammond Jr. We are literally backstage. We are, we are literally backstage, <laughs> which is kind of a respite. <laughs> like, it's kind of nice back here, right? Yeah. And you got big news, man. You got a new signature guitar with Fender. Yes. And uh, they were telling me a little bit about kind of the, the, the impetus behind it, what it was kind of based on, but why don't we get that from you directly? Tell us a little bit. It's a Japanese sure. reissue, right? Is well, that my right? guitar is a Japanese 85 reissue of a 72. Ah. So it has the headstock and the bullet truss rod like... A reissue um, of a reissue. Looking. Yeah, it's like a Albert Hammond Jr., Jr., Jr. Um, it uses uh, like mine. I use the middle pickup, so, but, so that's the middle pickup. That's that, and that's that, and the other one's humbuck. Um, it has five springs in the back to hold this all the way down. Do you, are you, do you use the trim much, or? No, it's not even gonna come with it. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I refuse. Uh, and then I have, this, I think this is just an aesthetic thing they did, but you know, I wanted to keep it with the same guitar, and then there's the signature in the back. Um, but the idea was to give, to have it be, aspects of my guitar in a in a new case to kind of leave your mark on it you okay. know to like have your journey on a guitar that sounds really great um i feel like it's whether it's my signature or not this is a really great new fender guitar so and so i mean that original japanese one was that like a real like one that you really developed your kind of style playing on when you were younger one it's the only one i've had the only guitar you've ever had the only the guitar since I, since I was 18 years old when I got it in New York at Richie Beck's apartment. It's the only guitar I've used on on like my main guitar on stage. Sure, I've 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 had you know you have backups. Your, your and stuff, style kind of developed. But everyone, trust me, if I, on social media, if I if I use live once another song because this breaks a string or <laughs> another guitar, everyone's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, no, I've I've used the same. I definitely that this guitar has, uh, for me, has become like a symbol in, in, my, uh, in my playing music. So was that, was that kind of attachment to that guitar? Was there something about that guitar? Or was it just kind of out of necessity because at the time you couldn't, you know, afford to buy piles of guitars? No, I don't think it has to do with uh, money. That's why I try to keep, I kept this one cheap. My guitar was was cheap and it sounds good. I just had to do with the pickups were awesome. They just sounded great. And that's, you know, and I was at the time where I was like, I knew a little bit more about trying to figure out tone and then yeah. not only trying to, but then tone became everything. Like there was no point of doing it if you didn't sound good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I tried to get as close as I could to that. You know? when, when you gave him that guitar to, to, I imagine you loaned it to Fender a little bit to I let did. him do that. Were there any, once they kind of took it apart and did the CSI on it, were there any new discoveries about that guitar that you? I mean, not stuff I didn't know, just like stuff that there were ceramic pickups, which they don't make anymore. Wow. So they couldn't even do that, even if they were doing like a custom one, which I thought that was pretty fascinating. Um, the guy who had it before glued these things down which i thought was kind of yeah so you can't you couldn't move the pickups <laughs> so it was pretty funny but that's commitment you know but there's aspects to there's aspects to the journey like i was saying that i want to keep for the person playing and there's aspects that i wanted to take from my guitar and i feel like we found a, a happy uh medium so you got your new guitar signature guitar what does music-wise and everything else-wise for the rest of the year look like for you? What, what do you have going on? Well, I leave in a few days to, uh, for a world tour, I'm doing Europe for two weeks, uh, Middle East, Asia, Australia, and Japan, and then back to LA um, for my fourth album, Francis Trouble, and I'm just touring that till early next year, I think. Yeah. Well, Albert, thanks again, man, for taking oh, the time. You. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar.